Hi, in this episode we're going to discuss glycolysis, the first phase of glycolysis, which is the preparative phase. So you might be asking, what is glycolysis? Well, glycolysis is the breaking down of glucose to the pyruvate. It comes from glycose, which is sweet, glucose is sugar and sweet, and lysis, which is splitting, like splitting down to form the pyruvate. Two phases involved, as I mentioned, we're doing phase one today, which is a preparative phase. Only three reactions, so nice and quick video and then there's the energy generation phase which will be the next video which has seven reactions. Preparative phase uses two ATP and the energy generating phase produces four ATP and two NADH. As you can see in this diagram it goes glucose to pyruvate via fructose 1,6 bisphosphate. This takes into account that you've used two ATP in the first reaction and as such only shows it as producing two. Now, after pyruvate, it can go three ways. It can either go to anaerobic glycolysis to produce lactate, as most mammals do when they can get enough oxygen to their muscles to produce lactate. Anaerobic alcoholic fermentation, as yeast do in anaerobic conditions. And anaerobic, no, aerobic oxidation, which is your TCA cycle, which will be discussed later on in the series. So, energy ingestion investment is the first phase. The first reaction is of glucose to produce glucose 6-phosphate Oops, which is here, so you get glucose this hydrogen gets bumped off on the carbon 6 there's a um, hydroxyl group to give you a phosphate group. The enzyme is either hexakinase or glucokinase that does this, we'll discuss that in just a second but you'll only find glucokinase in the liver requires ATP hydrolysis, so it uses energy quite a lot, the loss of one ATP molecule, and the glucose enters the cell via, via transport, such as the GLUT1, GLUT2, or GLUT4. Now, this reaction takes place in the cytosol of the cell, and it traps glucose within the cell. It, without the ATP, this reaction doesn't go forwards. So, as you can, and also, as you see, there, those magnesium 2 plus ions are required to shield negative charge on the ATP and allows for the neutrophilic attack on carbon 6. The magnesium deficiency will inhibit the hexakinase reaction, being one of the reasons we need magnesium in our diet. As you can see here, um, glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, including an inorganic phosphate to be added and the loss of water from the glucose. It actually has quite a large Gibbs free energy value, which means it's not a favourable reaction, it won't happen naturally without any input. However, taking those half reactions, the ATP and water to denosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate is a heavily favourable reaction with a minus 30.5 kilojoules per mole of Gibbs free energy. So, overall, when added together, these two reactions, glucose and ATP, to glucose 6 phosphate and ADP have a negative Gibbs free energy and make the reaction incredibly favourable in the presence of ATP. Now glucose 6 phosphate is actually a metabolic branch point. It can go down multiple pathways. It's not restricted to glycolysis. The main ones are pentose phosphate pathway and glycogen synthesis. There are other pathways but we're not going to discuss this. So, Production of glycogen is converted to glucose 1 phosphate, the phosphate on a different carbon, not the other here. And the pentose phosphate pathway is important for the production of NADPH and C4, C5, and C7 sugars. That just, they just describe the length of the carbon backbone 4 carbons, 5 carbons, etc. So, as I said earlier, we get hexakinase and glucokinase. Now, hexakinase is present in pretty much all cells of the body. But glucokinase is only really present in the liver and the islets of Langerhans and the pancreas. Glucokinase is a glucose sensor. Now, hexakinase is, has a low KM and a Vmax, as you can see from this little square here. It metabolizes glucose at low levels and prevents trapping within the cells, meaning it's healthier. Glucokinase, however, being present in the liver, needs to be able to metabolise large quantities of glucose quickly as glucose will hit the liver before the systemic blood system. So, yeah, that'll do. Um, 
pretty much it has a high Vmax and a high KM as to allow for quick metabolism of a lot of glucose quickly. I mean, as you can see, this is about one, two, three, four, five times more active than hexachinase. Thus preventing hyperglycemia. However, the mutation in glucokinase, MODY2, it can be responsible for diabetes type 2. Now, hexakinase is inhibited by its product, which is glucose 6-phosphate in this pathway, which means it gets shut down when it produces too much of its product, like a lot of enzymes. However, glucokinase, which is found in the liver, is actually shut down by fr fructose 6-phosphate. As you can see here, it comes out in the nucleus where it's normally bonded with glucokinase regulatory protein, GKRP. And in the presence of glucose, it becomes more active. In the presence of fructose 6-phosphate, it becomes less active. So, the next reaction in this is reaction 2 of phase 1, the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. It's a simple isomerization. It turns the aldehyde group, which is here, into a ketone group. So the double bond is moved to there, and the hydroxyl is moving to here, turning this aldehyde, that little bit on the top, to a ketone that bit there. And the enzyme for this is phosphoglucose isomerase. Now reaction three, almost there. Phase one is the conversion of fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Now this is another step that's irreversible and it uses yet another mo molecule of ATP. Uh, the enzyme is your phosphor Phosphofructokinase 1, however it's often abbreviated PFK1 or PFK. It's an irreversible step, it's a commitment step, which means if you change in a fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, you are likely going to, well, you are going to be continuing on with glycolysis. And this is the molecule that goes into phase 2. This is the high energy molecule that you want to get the energy out of. So you need magnesium again for this and it takes our group, that's it on there as well no, that was a lie takes this group, adds phosphate on there again so, in addition to the second phosphate is important for this but that's the end of this episode and I'll talk about phase 2 shortly thank you for listening and I appreciate your time